these are 10 best free quest 2 games this is pretty much rocket league but standing and this game used to cost money but now it's free and it's called ultimax and this game you are a robot whose main goal is to put the ball into the goal like soccer and you pretty much shoot rockets out of your hands to move the ball to the other goal and you can teleport around this game seems really difficult but really anybody can play even your 25 year old grandma which makes no sense and this person even claimed to be addicted to this game so if you're scared of being addicted don't don't play this game this game is on the quest and the pico neo headsets and also on steam vr if you want to play on steam vr if you are a fan of basketball and sometimes feel like LeBron James, then this game is for you. Blacktop Hoops is a free game on the Quest 2 where you can obviously play basketball. You can play with your friends and even smack somebody before you go out for a dunk. You can also play multiplayer if you want with other randoms. And there is another game that is just like this called Gym Class. However, from what I can see, this game seems to be of higher quality and slightly better graphics. Now we've all played table hockey or air hockey or whatever it's called before. Most likely at the arcade, maybe Chuck E. Cheese with the creepy animatronics. However, if you've been to any of these places, they have this thing called an air hockey table, which you can play. And it's actually in VR. The name of the game is called Air Hockey VR, obviously. And in this game, you can play against AI or even against your friends and bet over some money and go broke. This game supports 90 hertz, so it's gonna be like exceptionally smooth. And it also supports hand tracking, which is really cool, so you don't have to pick up your controllers at all. It may not work as well as using normal controllers, however, it is a nice feature to have. Now, recently I got under fire for something I have said. Many people commented that I should play this game again. Even though I picked it up, I just straight up don't even enjoy it. But it is one of the most popular games on the Quest 2. And if you have never heard of this game, I recommend and you go play it but the game i'm talking about is gorilla tag obviously everybody knows what this game is and their cat but it's a game where you are an actual gorilla who is trying not to get tagged by using your arms to move around and one thing that makes this game super special is the modding support that people get some people might spend three days and three nights trying to install mods on their quest 2 however there are just an unnormal amount of mods on this game you can download mods on steam vr and on the quest and it's something i recommend everybody go try out however i would say beware of this one thing that people always seem to talk about that I don't get and it's PBBV and someone called Daisy09 which is something I really don't get so if you want to explain to me what those people are or what that even is let me know in the comments below this game is definitely something it used to cost money just like Ultimax but now it's free it's Blast On Blast On is a game where you face off against another person or an AI and you pretty much shoot each other and try to dodge bullets because they move quite slowly there are many different weapons to choose from and even a shield to protect yourself however this game is a workout so if you're a couch potato or a bum you might get destroyed some would say i'm good at the game but i just be lying in reality i just stopped playing because i'm unfit but if you think you're better let me know in the comments below now this game is based off another non-vr game that i hope most of you guys have heard and that is rainbow six siege that game is a tactical shooter where you have to work with your team to defuse the bomb and this vr game is just like it breachers is the exact same thing but in vr so you work with your team to try to hunt down the bomb and defuse it and eliminate the other team at the same time you can play multiplayer with your friends or with randoms and to download this there is a discord that you have to go into and i will link it in the description below this game gives me gorilla tag vibes and it's probably why i don't play it that much gun raiders is an fps where you can gun down your enemies while flying through the air this game features a jetpack just like one of the best games of all time cod black ops 3 and if you think otherwise you are a monkey there are many variations of weapons you can use like an smg an ar pistols there are even melee weapons like swords i think and much more i recommend playing this game if you think you are one of the best fps players and you're better than me which you are most likely not and you can just run it up on the oculus store now if you're popular cool and loved by everyone then you must be a fan of horror games like me polar dread is a game where you are in a winter themed resort avoiding mascots that are after you by hiding under a desk you can also throw random objects at it hide in vents and other things it kind of reminds me of five nights at freddy's and trust me when i played five nights at freddy's in vr i screamed like a little girl but don't let anyone know that if you have the guts of i don't know the rock then i, I recommend you playing this but i'm letting you know i'm not playing that at all if you're somebody who likes driving i have found the game for you vr speedway is a vr game where you are in a car either racing by yourself or racing against other robots in this game you actually drive with your real hands or you can which means that if you don't have the arms of johnny bravo then driving for more than five minutes with your arm up will be excruciating there are 
several mechanics in this game like shifting gear going into reverse and it's just all super cool this game requires an immense amount of arm strength or you can play with the sticks i'm pretty sure now this game is for the wannabe adults out there poker star vr is a social game just like vr chat in rec room where you can play poker with a bunch of other people you can play in many different locations and there are also a ton of really cool features in this game however one drawback about this game is that you will not see me playing i'm not saying the game is bad but i don't want to play poker however for the those of you guys who want to earn money in the real world and want to really try your hand at seeing how good you are at poker, I recommend you playing this game. This game is on Steam VR if you guys want to play on PC or it's on the Quest 2 as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know if you want to see another video about Gorilla Tag Ghosts. Plot twist, I don't want to make that video, so don't comment anything.